Oh, we're back, Ted. We're back alive. Oh, wait, are we starting? Yeah, clap, Oh, jeez, he clapped. I didn't even realize it. I'm too, I'm too much on cloud nine. All right. Uh, welcome to Tough Questions, everybody. I'm your host, Jeff Sheen, with his co-host, Tim McLaughlin. Hey, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. Great job, Tim. And today we're joined by Ted Barton. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. How excited are you? Finally here, Ted. Ted Barton, sitcom name. Yeah, that is a sitcom name. You think? Seems like a guy, you know, on a show, his wife hates him. Yeah, what do you think about that? Is that what do you think? I get the have you met Ted thing a lot. What's that? I'm yeah, a, now, we, now we don't even know what that is. Yeah, what is that? How I Met Your Mother? You ever watched that? Oh, and his name was Ted. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. And Neil Patrick Harris was secretly gay on the show. Oh, yeah, he was. Right. He yeah. was, yeah, he was a secretly gay guy. What do you think of that? Well, his character was like the most like womanizer. Oh, yeah. But, Which is funny. Yes. Because we all knew what he actually was like. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right. Well, I'm going to ask you questions here, Ted. All right. All right. Yeah, you, gotta, you better give me some real are answers. These, are these tailored just for me? These yeah, are, yeah. Yeah, tailored tough questions. Yeah, they're tailored just for you. Oh, okay. Everybody gets their own different questions that I write. Okay. So yours are, there's yours. And I'm going to score you out of 10. Based on how well you did. Okay. How well I think, you know. You got to be truthful and honest. Yeah, you got to be, be truthful, funny. honest. Don't be, don't be hamming it in, yucking it up. To give you an honest answer. Oh, yeah, I want yeah. honesty. If you don't bring the honesty, you're going to get a bad score. Yeah. And if you get below a five, you don't get to do your plugs. You have to leave. Yeah, no plugs. Below a five. All right, all right. So, uh, and then afterwards, we'll do the Patreon episode where we talk about Ted after he leaves and how he did. And you can check that out at patreon.com slash tough questions. And if you sign up, you can ask your own tough question or you can ask Jeff a question that he has to answer. Mm hmm. So, you know, and if you want to hear us talk about you after you left, you can also subscribe. I so, was going to wait outside. No, 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 no. No, we'll do it at a completely separate location. Yeah, so we're going to do it over find Zoom. Out. So, all right. Are you ready, Ted? First question. Right, let's do it. I'm ready. Let's see here. I got to know. Our listeners are dying to know. I'm not, they beg, beg to know. They're a begging tea. What's the hardest part of getting divorced and why did it happen? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. oh, you did your research. Oh, what's so hard about <laughs> it? Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, and uh, why did it happen? Yeah. A oh, divorce, eh, Ted? The hardest is. part, genuinely? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. The paperwork. The paperwork? The paperwork. It wasn't you, the fact that someone doesn't love you anymore? Yeah, you're fine on the inside? That happened before the divorce. So by the time the divorce is happening, you didn't give a shit. You were dead already? Yeah, and then it was just a lot of paperwork. Oh. They don't tell you how. It's a process to get divorced. So it's like you had broken up and then you had gone through the emotional pain already. And then by the time the divorce was happening, it was just nothing but paperwork to you. You were like, this this means nothing to me. She doesn't love me anymore. So yeah, who cares? I mean, I've moved on already. I don't yeah. know. I feel like I do better with like emotional work than I do with administrative work. You uh. seem emotionally tapped in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you seem very in tune with your inner Ted. Yeah. Is that what that is? Yeah. I'm synchronized, mm -hmm. for sure. But then so, when it comes to like filing like a packet of things, that's it was a lot of the paperwork. That was the biggest the biggest issue. Wait a sec. Your mic was it the mic on. off? Gotcha. Jeez Louise. He would have been picked up by the other mics, but your mic was off. Tim, you're fired. How was that my fault? You should have Ted, known. Are you a professional comedian? Yes. Are you wow. gonna say he was supposed to don't throw this on him? <laughs> I wasn't wow. looking at the wave. Yeah, he's wow. the guest. <laughs> Hey, I figured it out pretty quick, though. Yeah, good thing you caught that early. All right, Ted, so you, the paperwork was tough. Did they not hear any of that? I don't know. They I hope heard they heard a little bit of okay. it. He had a hard time with the paperwork because he's a divorce. Oh, guy. darn, they didn't hear me talk about my divorce. No, That's... no. How was the emotional pain? What was that like? Take me there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ted, this is over. I don't like it anymore. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's a tough question to I answer. I someone else now, Ted. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, what character? Is that my inner <laughs> monologue? Yeah, That's my inner monologue? Yeah, yeah. He just wants to go there. Yeah, take me there, Ted. Oh, yeah. Well, it's actually similar to a breakup. It's really the same thing. Let's hear it. You've been through breakups, of right? Of course. Yeah, but... Yeah, it's just a lot of journaling. You ever just, like, look at the water? It's a lot of that. Yeah? Yeah. So, wait, who wanted out? She wanted out or you wanted she out? She wanted out, yeah. She wanted out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. From you? 
<laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't wearing a shirt at the time. Yeah, you were <laughs> <laughs> She was leaving this? Uh, yeah. Oh, Had I worn this shirt, then oh. yeah, things might have gone differently. <laughs> Why did she want out? Uh, literally, she said uh, she, she uh, felt trapped and she wanted to travel. She wanted to see the world. Really? You're a stand-up comedian. That's like your job is to travel. Yeah, and then she like she said that, and then she moved back in with her parents, which I was like, that's okay. That's seeing the world, I but guess. But they live in Mykonos, right? What? What's it's, Mykonos? It's in G- Greece. <laughs> why, why was that? Because they're traveling the world. It, anyways, it was a nice... Mykonos? Yeah. What, a, what was that reference to? It's not my fault you guys are fucking stupid. That's not even a reference to anything. You've been waiting to say Mykonos, I feel like. That's where my friend Tim V is. Shout out to Tim V. Yeah, you just said a city you know that's in a different <laughs> continent. Right, because it's traveling. She wanted out to okay. travel. Yeah, and then she went to Tampa, Florida. She went, Jeff and I went to Tampa, Florida. It's, yeah, our last guest used to live in Tampa, Florida. It's a war zone. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Chickens oh, okay. are on the street. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I know. It's it's insane. Yeah. But you know they have a nudist colony down there, too. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Um, Man, all that's right. got to be like watching weather belts walk around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Horrible. Jeez, look. <laughs> Animated <riding>. beef jerky. <laughs> So she's down in Tampa. Is she traveling? Do you know if she's traveling? I don't know. I don't. Dreams? You haven't kept tabs? You haven't kept no, tabs? No, no. It was a clean. No tabs? What the only tabs? tab was for tax filing purposes. Mm. That was when I reached out. Damn. You don't have a you don't have a burner? What do you mean? Follow her. You block her on your regular, but follow her on your burner account. <laughs> oh, yeah. See what she's up to. <laughs> How long ago was this? This was uh, five years ago. Almost oh, five. So Almost completely healed. <laughs> yeah. All right, great. Yeah, I just start crying. <laughs> <laughs> Not a single wound yeah. there. Yeah. All right. Well, I wonder if she's traveling. We'll, uh, I hope she is. Who, whoever's watching this, find out who his ex is, and we'll do some <laughs> deep research on the you internet. You can tell us. Just yeah. say her name. Yeah, dead name her right now, and find her, everybody, and see if she's traveling, just based off of Instagram yeah, dead, photos. Yeah, dead name her. Um, all right. We'll have our followers do some that's research. A, that's a great first tough question, by the way. What? I like feel like divorce? it's tough to follow that now. Oh, with, we'll see that's... all over this. What, uh, let's see. What about this one? Next question. What part of you is missing to be the best you? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, can I use the first question <laughs> <laughs> to answer the second? <laughs> yeah. What are you missing? Uh, uh, There's, there, you, there, you just need something. In yeah. To you want to be the best you, best you but what the heck? And Tim's is ninety thousand dollars. I could really use ninety. <laughs> yeah. If I had ninety thousand dollars, my whole life would be good again. What would you do with it? What's missing? I'd Gillis. I'd start Gillising. What's Gillising? <laughs> I'd start making my own sketches in Gillis. Ah. Uh. <laughs> he thinks he can make sketches with ninety grand, and he would pop off. I'd. Oh, you guys don't understand how hard I'd Gillis. Just take out a loan. Yeah, right. I feel like if you believe in That's it that what much. I said. Oh, that'd be cool if I had the credit to do it. Oh, shut up. I'll give uh. you a loan. You want 90 grand? <laughs> yeah, I could yeah, do that. I'm good grand. for it. I'll g- yeah, we'll combine and give you 90 grand. <laughs> I know you probably have like six grand, maybe. Oh, honey, up that. Anyway, you could give away. Ted, please answer the question. Tim's getting into money talk. What am I missing? Yeah, Jeff's what are you making, missing? Jeff's I'll- making a thousand a show now. What are you missing to be the best you? I think we're all just missing God, to be honest. No, no, Ted. Sounds funny. Cost him a point. That's that's the problem, though, is that's the truth, but it sounds funny. That's that's the point that How I'm so? Making. What do you mean it's the truth? That's what I believe. You think you think we're missing God? Yeah. In and that's why I'm here today. <laughs> <laughs> Tim's giving you the side eye. I don't like that answer. Tim doesn't like it. Yeah. I mean, we're in the heart of Manhattan. It's going to sound ironic. Yeah, but wait. You think you're missing God. I think we yeah. all are. No, 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 no. This is you. What are you missing? I don't need God. I have Satan. Yeah, see? Tim's a saint or whatever. <laughs> Satan won't give you $90,000. No. God will. Yo, no, or no, Or Jeff no. and Sheen with 12% interest rates. That's true. So what are you, what are you, what are you yourself missing? To be the best Ted. To be the best Ted? To be I don't the best know. Ted? What are you missing? You need God? No. You think God's going to make you the best Ted? Yeah. yeah. You really God think? made you the Ted you are now. You, yeah, you could think be, he's going to make you a better Ted? I don't think yes. so. Could yes. be confidence, height, uh, uh, wit. I would like better posture. You can do that. Posture. You can All get right. $90,000. I, I just, could. I I'm could. sharing. I think you think posture would do it. Yeah, for sure. You best you with better posture. Yeah, it would be on the way. 
Okay. See, start we're getting to, somewhere. After this show, start sitting up straight. Mm -hmm. Start walking chest out. Just... There you go. See, yeah. you're doing it now. Posture. Oh. There you go. Look at how much bigger you are than Jeff. Oh, shut <laughs> up. Yeah, it makes you look bad now. All right. So posture <laughs> would do it. That's what you think. See, we got a real one out of you. Yeah. I knew it. I knew we could pull teeth. Yeah, we can't. We have to have something that's like based in science. Yeah, you want to work this God not, angle. Not just like a... a Thing created for different religions to make money. Yeah. I, the whole dynamic would shift if I wasn't in between you two. I oh. feel like oh, I feel yeah, like the yeah, fact yeah. that I, yeah, the fact you that get I'm it from both sides. You don't the think fact, we set this up on purpose? Yeah. yeah. The fact that I'm sandwiched. Yeah, yeah. you're getting grilled. <laughs> You know, this is a grill uh, pad. You know what it feels like when someone pushes you back and forth, but it's like conversational. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. You know, it's like two bullies put you in the middle of the bullying. What's missing in your life? Yeah. Tell me. <laughs> of space, I think. And you know what? I don't like what's missing in your life. Elbow room. <laughs> yeah. This is like if you're on a flight and then the two people controlling the aisle and window started <laughs> grilling you with questions. Oh, yeah. And this is why you need $90,000. Then you're not stuck in the middle. Yeah, you don't get that middle seat. <laughs> Why well, 90? Money. That's such a specific amount. It's, it's how much money I've spent frivolously in my life, I think, gambling and buying stupid things. Oh. Yeah, he thinks he's blown 90,000. 90. That's such a I'm random gambling. number. Yeah. Yeah, well, why I'm not 100? Sure, I've for sure blown like 50,000 gambling. And you're just guessing another 40s in there? <laughs> in, fri in frivolous <laughs> spending. All right, all right. I'm going to try to win one of you over, and then it becomes a grill of one of the other oh. You're going to have to really try after that God stuff. Yeah, that never <laughs> happens. That never happens. Dude. You're doomed. You're screwed. And I will take your side against Jeff, but you, you do not have me. I will tell you that. <laughs> yeah, if anyone you're winning over, it's Tim. You never win me over. <laughs> yeah. Um, so posture. Anything else you think that would help? Your posture puts you on your way. I want to be really articulate. That's like a dream of mine. There we go. That's a dream. That's yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is what... This go off. Have you thought Slay. about going to a speech pathologist? An SLP? Um, no, probably not. Articulate. You can say things better. Hello. Yeah, I think I'm here to file for divorce. <laughs> yes. Hello. <laughs> upon upon arrival to thine office, I'd like to file for. Do you divorce. think that's how it works? You just walk into a guy who's in a big podium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm here to file for divorce. I am here to submit my divorce paper. <laughs> He's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's being articulate. No, no, that's just what an idiot thinks smart people sound like. Shut up, you're an idiot. All right, next question. Uh, all right. Ooh, Ted, who do you blame? Your mom or your dad and why? <laughs> who did it to Who do I blame for what? For Whatever. all of it. For all of it, the whole kitten caboodle. You couldn't keep a woman that's a, You alone. can't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're divorced. Yeah. I you just know. met this guy 13 minutes ago. <laughs> really coming that's, at you. Yeah, wow. Yeah, you're a poor comedian, I'm assuming. You're doing comedy for a reason. Who do you blame? Who do I blame? What? Who was it? Was it your you're presupposing your some lack. I don't know. I think oh. they both did a great job. You're to doing stand-up comedy. There's a lack. I love stand-up comedy. Yeah, but you do it because no. A lack. See, that's a common narrative. No, yeah. it's I do stand-up because it's because I want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. But why? Yeah. The who made you want to do it? Your I would be a, I would be doing accounting if I if I didn't love it. You know. Okay. All right. You know what I mean. Okay. No. See so you guys. I don't subscribe it. to the whole like comedians have a lack thing. I don't. You think comedians got it all? No, I think some all of them I have a lack. A posture. <laughs> and and ninety thousand dollars. And ninety grand. Yeah. I think the reason I don't have ninety grand is because I'm a fucking comedian. Yeah, oh yeah, and there's no money in comedy. Yeah. So who do you blame? <laughs> For what? Mom or dad. I don't blame either of them. You gotta blame one of them. Ah, uh, no, nah, they both did a great job. Oh no, no, gun to your head. One's getting blamed. No. They they got it. They're like, who do you blame? The truth, honesty, isn't always what you want to hear. Yeah, that's why. That's why. I want. Honesty doesn't mean negativity. Always. Do you think your parents were too supportive, and now you think that you can thrive in an industry with millions and millions of people? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. You're not blaming either one of them? No. Well, then who do you blame for this? If anything, I'd blame my brother. Uh... That's closer. <laughs> All right. And a, and a brother is a man 
so you can blame your dad. Yeah, yeah, we'll move that over to dad. You secretly said dad. This is the faultiest logic I've ever heard. I'll write down dad. Your ex-wife was a woman, yeah. so you can blame your sister. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> and then, no, if, no, and then that funnels back to your mom. No, no, you gave That us... is true. That is true. Uh, yeah. You probably married your ex-wife because she probably reminded you of your mom a little bit, so you can blame her for that. Yeah, that's usually uh, what happens. <laughs> it's the most watered down Freud I've ever heard. Of. <laughs> it's a very watered down Freud. <laughs> so, I didn't. I barely graduated high school. I dropped out of college. Jeff so dropped out. He you dropped I, out of college? Yeah. He said I learned enough and yeah. then walked right out in the middle of the class. Yeah. I went. My brain done full and I walked right out. <laughs> yeah. No more. And everyone knowledge. clapped. Mm-hmm. If you had filmed it, that you'd be famous on TikTok. Oh, probably. The yeah. teacher goes, I finally filled up enough brains. And yeah. they left, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The teacher was like, I love filling students. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, why'd you phrase it like that? Yeah. You're like, I'm not going to leave anymore, yeah. actually. Oh my Jeff God. and the teacher left hand in hand. Um. So let's see. You winked at us and said, Dad. All right. Wow. That you caught that? We that got, was got, <laughs> very, got an answer. Can we do a slow-mo <laughs> replay of my... <laughs> I got a twitch. That much editing. We got an answer. Good stuff. All right. Let's see here. All right. Then what about this one? This is a soft one. You'll like this one. This is a good right, let's, question. Hey, this whatever. This is a nice one. What's your favorite food? And how would you plus it up? Wow. What do you mean plus it up? You got to plus it up. Make it better? Yeah. Plus it up? How would you plus what it up? What is that? Is that like a Midwestern <laughs> slang? Plus it up. You don't know plus, plus it up. You don't know plus it up. <laughs> don't gaslight me. You've never heard that in my life. I'm going to plus it up. No, I said have. plus it up. Yeah, you got to plus it up. Like this chicken shawarma is good, but it could be plussed up. Who's this coming with from? A, with a little, uh, a little, you know, jalapeno. You know, like chili, how chili is incredible, but you yeah. plus it up with cheese and a little sour cream. <laughs> you guys are trying to sell merch right now. This no, is, no. Is, there's a t-shirt in your backpack no. that says plus it up. Honestly, do you want to know where I heard it? Sure. There is a uh, there's a YouTuber that does uh, sandwiches of history. Okay. And he goes through old cookbooks <laughs> from like the 1910s. Oh, boy, that shit is boring, Joe. I love this guy. <laughs> and he makes these sandwiches from like the 1910s and 1850s. And then he goes, now let's plus it up. And then he adds something to the sandwich to make it better. That might actually be kitchen talk because my mom used to say plus it up and she worked at bars for a long time. Oh, maybe it's kitchen talk. Oh, okay. I've never heard this. Well, have you worked in a kitchen? Have you I've heard? been in a kitchen. Yeah? <laughs> I've heard kitchens. Okay. Have you worked in one? You don't have to work in it to hear it. You gotta work in a... You talking restaurant I kitchens? Think he's talking about here in Spanish. Who, me? <laughs> Ted. Oh, Ted. Ted, is that what you're saying? <laughs> I you didn't hear it. racial on our bike? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Don, Your leaves are so funny. <laughs> 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 Just racial. jump. All right, how was your favorite food and how would you plus it up? I'm going to say steak. Steak. And that's the thing. You don't really have to plus it up. I mean, Oh, steak can be plus. Maybe. Yeah. I no, it's one of those steak. things. The more you plus up, the worse it becomes. Oh, a compound butter? Ooh. A compound butter on top of a steak? I like a plain butter more. Plain that's butter. still plus. That would be plussed up. Yeah, are you plussing it up with butter? Yeah. All right. Butter and salt. So steak. Plus you actually score? Way. Are you scoring me, really? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better believe you're getting score. This not giving me the dad or mom answer cost you. That cost you. You know what I think? No, I, I didn't give you the answer you wanted to hear. Mm. That's the truth. Plus up. Well, you gave us a wink, dad, so it wasn't a bad negative. <laughs> a wink, dad. With butter. All right. What do you think of that, Tim? Steak plus it with butter. It's good. That's pretty good. It's mm. pretty good. You know what I like? Mm. A cube, Cuban sandwich. Mm-hmm. I'd plus it up by putting chili on the side to dip it in and eat it. Oh, Ooh. whoa. Wow. That sounds pretty fucking good. That I, is a good idea. Maybe I'll do that for my own damn self once I get 90 grand. I'll be able to <laughs> afford all the ingredients. <laughs> all right. Yeah. It's too damn hot for chili right now. I'll tell yeah, you that. This, this is a heat wave, not a chili wave. Mm-mm. Uh, let's see here. What would you do, Jeff? What would I do with my favorite food? Well, let me see what my favorite food is, to be My honest. favorite food is actually chili dogs. Oh. Yeah, what counts as my favorite food? How would you plus up a chili dog? I guess with cheese and yeah. onions. And mustard. No, I would... Yeah, you put mustard and onions and cheese on them like, uh, like they do at Skyline. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. My favorite food, I guess... Is it ice cream? Can I say ice cream? You can say ice cream. Whatever you, whatever you think. And I would, I would plus it up with a chocolate dipped cone. Wow! You know how they do that? There's and a it gets like cone? it gets solid. Oh, oh 
Yeah, and they t- they dip it in chocolate. Oh yeah, it's good. I don't like cones. That is good. You don't like cones? Nah. You don't like? What do you mean, like Dude, cones? Dude, the waffle cones that they make and then roll around—not like the shitty ones you buy at the store, but yeah. like the handmade ones. Those are sick. You don't like cones? No, nah, I have you sensitive just... teeth. Oh, oh my god! Oh, yeah, geez. don't talk about them. They're sensitive. Wrap it up. Wrap yeah. it. End this the man pod. said, "Don't talk about them. They're sensitive. Hit him with a minus one. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the minus one. I don't care anymore." <laughs> You dropped out of college. Yes, he's breaking. <laughs> I don't care about your score. Breaking. All right, you got uh, soft, sensitive teeth, so I'm assuming that steak's coming rare. My dad did that to me, by the way, the soft, sensitive teeth. Your dad, what do you mean? He's got soft, sensitive teeth? Yeah. He punched you in the face a lot. <laughs> what? Wore him down. <laughs> what the hell? How soft of a punch would that have? Yeah, what you <laughs> doing? the hard punches. They break your teeth you down. So your down. dad's got sensitive teeth. Yeah. And that's where you get it from. It's I've done the Punnett Square. So you blame your dad. Yeah. Yes. See? We're cutting that was the what, that's why I winked at you. That's a beautiful way. Do wink. you have to use straws to get past your teeth? Does the cold For ice cream? For any for like for cold drinks. Do you have to like have a straw to get past your teeth? No, it's the transition from cold to crunchy is is brutal. Oh that's why I don't like the waffle. Yeah. I so, see. Okay. I bet you hate popsicles. Yeah. Oh, oh they always biting the stick. Oh, yeah. I'm always eating the stick. Uh, eat the stick? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> and that, that's how you memorize the funny joke that was on it. What are you like? A, oh, yeah, you got to read it and eat it? Yeah. <laughs> you burp and it comes out? Yeah, that's how we get Jim thinks you learn by eating the words. Yeah. I always eat my Chinese uh, <laughs> fortune so that it comes true as well. You got to eat a dictionary. <laughs> yeah. Before he gets on stage, he eats his set list. Dip it's in true, chocolate. I do. And, bro, I've been killing. No, I'm sure. All right. Uh, well, you kind of answered this one previously. It was, do you have siblings? Uh, and then how has that shaped you as a person? Why is that a tough question? I'm just curious. Having siblings? Oh, okay. Well, I, the, the second part is, how has that shaped you as a person? Oh. Uh, well, I'm the youngest of four. Whoa. Picked hmm. on a lot, huh? Uh, yeah, Says comedians for sure. don't need youngest of four striving for attention to... You know, shine outside of the other three. Oh, is that what you're saying, Tim? That's what I'm hearing. Looking for approval through audiences. Yes. Oh, what do you oh, think about that? This is this is getting interesting now. <laughs> <laughs> this is. I think we're really getting to the bottom of something. Oh, Teddy, you hate this. <laughs> so you're the youngest of four. How did that? No, shape I'm an open book. I love this. How'd that shape you? Being the youngest, yeah. I was pretty spoiled. You were spoiled. Yeah, I was pretty oh, spoiled. God, a spoiled white man. Oh, Can it be Jesus. any worse? Can it be? God, our liberal. Oh my God, our oh. liberal fans are gonna hate this. Oh, they're gonna go uh, off. I'm straight too. Oh, gross. Ah. Uh, spoiled, and that's made you what? Are you a bit of a spoiled man? You expect what you? Do you get all pouty? Yeah, do you pout it up? Dude, I used to pout when I was a kid. Yeah, I did. Yeah? Yeah. I would go to the corner, and I would cross my arms, and I'd go oh, like that. Oh, no, he's yeah. upset. Yeah. Oh, young Ted. Yeah. Uh, and do you do that still to this day? Yeah. <laughs> I was actually nervous when I walked in here because the corners are filled, so oh. I don't have anywhere to retreat to. Yeah, how do you react when you don't get what you want? Like, if you're like, hey, can I do this show? And they're like, no, uh, sorry. I just stomp my left feet. Do you still do you do that, really? No. What do you do? How do you react? How do you react? To, how do you take rejection now? How do I take rejection? Yeah, do I take don't it? know. How do you take it? I don't know. I, I secretly seethe. Do you seethe? I meditate. Oh, you meditate. Big tater, yeah. Oh. Tim, you should do some of that. I do. I sit there quietly and I think of, I meditate on how to kill everyone that said no to me. <laughs> <laughs> so you just let it be and just meditate through it? You, he eats his mantra. Oh, yeah. You raise a mantra, then he eats it. All right. I have been doing my mantras. What are your About money? being successful, Jeff. <laughs> <That's so sad. laughs> say him again. I love hearing him. I, I say I am successful and I feel successful. <laughs> and that I am a headliner and I feel like a headliner. So I can get headlining gigs. Uh, Ted, you're not laughing. I don't know him. That's what he does. I don't know. Isn't that pathetic? <laughs> yeah, Ted, why are you laughing yeah, at me? Yeah, Ted, laugh at him. Laugh no. at me, Ted. Laugh Look, at my pathetic things I do in my yeah. set. No. What a bummer of a Ted. life. 
I'm out here. No. $90,000-less, <laughs> saying things to myself like, I am successful, I feel successful. I haven't succeeded once in my fucking life. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's funny. He's a loser. I'm going to kill myself, Ted. It is going to be hilarious. <laughs> You're the guy who starts bombing. You're like, why aren't you laughing? <laughs> Laugh right now. <laughs> All right, so you're spoiled, you meditate, you're very zen, you won't laugh at Tim. Won't even laugh at me. Um, Funniest guy on the show. All right, well then, I gotta know, you seem so cool, what pisses you off on a daily basis and why? Oh, shit. Oh, besides this? Yeah, what grinds your gears? <laughs> well, we don't do this every day. Yeah. Thank God for that. This is a once yeah. a week. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to have me back. Yeah, you're coming back. You come back anytime. Yeah, you're not done. One of our best guests. Yeah. Let's get to the bottom of it. Oh, thank you. I oh, appreciate yeah. that. You're doing great. It's a weird glimmer of sweetness out of you. Yeah. You That's get good. a little taste just to I'm, keep you coming back. I might laugh. That's right. You know, we might yeah. form an allegiance against this guy mm-hmm. wearing <laughs> shorts. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fake arm. <laughs> Did you say wearing shorts? Yeah. I is that what pisses you off? I hate, faces? yeah. I don't well, like I wearing can't... shorts either. Now, see, now we're on uh, the same side. Oh. Over it. Shorts are fine. Yeah. All right, what is it? Do you not like looking at people's legs, or you don't like wearing shorts yourself? Or you don't, or do you, what, what is it about wearing shorts? I don't know. It's not a logical thing. It's a visceral reaction. Oh, yeah? Uh, others yeah. in shorts? Yeah. Like, do you hate this, what Jeff is doing here? Yeah, look at all that. You look at well, that. you're blocking your pants with that. your notebook so you look yeah. naked. Flesh on flesh. <laughs> okay. Do you like that? No, I really. <laughs> <laughs> do you like that or hate it? Is that, where you're is that why you wore them? Yeah, flesh on you didn't flesh. have that moment. Rub them together. They're Ugh. sticking. They're kind yeah. of sticking. Oh, they're so moist. Yeah, they are. They are sticking. <laughs> they're like sweaty. Jeff's uh, like a creepy cricket. Yeah, yeah. I, my noise is. <laughs> oh, Lord, Jeffrey. <laughs> That's my chirp. My dear Christ. <laughs> my legs. Can we mic up his thighs? Yeah, yeah, mic him up. All right. What is it? Give me what pisses you off on a daily basis. What pisses me off on a daily basis? Daily. I want a daily piss off. <sighs> I know mine for sure. You can say yours while he thinks. People being slow on the street. You know, um, you know what it is, Jeff. Yeah, you hate when people are slow on the street. I hate when people are holding hands, walking down the sidewalk, walking slow, taking up the whole sidewalk. Yeah. Furious. You want to know mine? Yeah. People hop in turnstiles. You hate people <laughs> hop in turnstiles? <laughs> you just love justice. I don't like it. I'm paying. You're, the baby, you're barely paying. <laughs> I'm you're paying. A, this <laughs> person's not paying. You're on government assistance if, paying. They could do that too if they're hopping. It's an easy form to fill out. There's a form you can fill out, Ted. To get free. He hates paperwork. Oh, yeah, you do hate paperwork. But if you get over your paperwork fear, there's a small form. It's very easy. It takes 15 minutes. And the, uh, New York gives you a, a little MTA pass. All your fare is half off. Wow, and you use it? Yeah. And wow. Jeff's mad that people are hopping turnstiles. Yeah, I'm paying half He's off. Made, he makes enough to not have to pay half. Yeah, no. you're, it's like being on the welfare program and being mad when somebody steals. Jeff made six thousand dollars the other weekend. He could pay for his whole. No, really? no, I can't. Oh, <laughs> money back. Hey, look, I'm smart enough to take that, advantage of the government program. Don't that's the, steal from the government. That's the short. That explains the shorts. All the yeah. money. Take advantage. Don't steal. That's my mantra. <laughs> <laughs> it's good though. It's good. You know what pisses me off on a daily basis? Mm. It's when my roommate wakes up before me oh yeah and he's already accomplished a lot before i've woken up oh okay yeah. roommate why how do you wake up you wake up at noon like 11 oh. yeah and you the bath at 11 yeah when do you wake up at 7 30 p.m or a.m a.m oh and then i start working on stuff yeah how you sleep until 11 p- 11 a.m what does it what does it matter so much of the day yeah, to so much accomplish that. Yeah, see, this is a, another. <laughs> this is another misconception. I sleep as long as you do. Why does it matter? Why are you waiting? If everyone in the world day? is sleeping like eight hours, are people in China like inferior? Because it, right now it's like it's morning. I mean, I'm not saying people are in China. That's kind of racist of you, Tim McLaughlin. No, 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 no. You're the one who brought it up. But <laughs> no, I did. It was yeah, tough question. You said it. You said people in China are inferior to Jeff, who's like the worst one here. But here's the other thing: if you got up earlier, you wouldn't have to be mad at your roommate. So I have to live around my roommate. I mean, well, if, if you want to stop, that's a horrible. That's a that's, that's a the thing that pisses you off. Path every to day. destruction. 
Yeah, if you set an alarm at nine, you can start your day not being so pissed off. Yeah. Well, you could prevent people from jumping the turnstile, and then you would be happier. Jeff's no, not right. the cops. No way. What what pisses you off? People walking slow. Well, yeah, you could just walk. You could wait. What do you do? Move them out of the way? Yeah. Well, I walk around them when I can, but like if you're under like scaffolding and two people are holding hands, blocking the whole sidewalk. I agree. Whatever pisses you off, you should rectify. You should change everything in the world. I do right. say stuff to people all the time. I flip out on a regular basis in public. It's not good. <laughs> really? I make noises when people hop turnstiles. I go. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and they hear it. And they hear. I've seen Jeff do it, and the, a guy heard it, and I saw him hop turnstile in the nose. Yeah, he hopped back over and yeah. paid for it. That's worse than a, <laughs> that's worse than a ticket. Disapp- even, a mild it, disappointment. It was even more fucked up because you don't have to hop back over. You can just walk through. <laughs> oh yeah, you did hop. <laughs> well, um, on the way here, I'm, I'm hopping on. The, I'm going to the train, you know, and sure. uh, there's a guy in front of me is walking, and he just hops. And there was two MTA employees, just like you know, they're like guarding the doors now, the exit doors. Yes, yeah, they guard the. So doors. people don't hold them open anymore. And I'm yeah. Like, but he just hopped right in front of them. Well, they can't stop that. That's athleticism. This is, I mean, it's free. It's, I feel like I'm living in the, the Wild West. Yeah, it's crazy. And I'm tired of it. It's truly wild. We got to put these people in jail. Yeah. All right, Jeff, I'll tell you this. I, this happened to me. So I had worked, I was working at the bowling alley for like 12 hours. Mm-hmm. Then I'm trying to get home. I think I've told this story on the pod before. A guy just stopped. At the bottom of the stairs, looking which direction to get on the train, and then I missed my train because oh, he stopped right. And I go, "You can't just stop on the stairs, you fat fucking asshole!" I go, "Who the fuck just <laughs> stops? People got places to fucking go." And then my phone flew everywhere, and I, it was a real bad scene. <laughs> the guy's trying to catch his breath on the stairs. <laughs> He's like, "I'm large." Tim's flipping out. I flip. He's out. like, I'm fat. What do you want from me? So <laughs> this this super cool looking dude saw me flipping out, and he goes, Oh. And I face. saw that, and I was like, I better get to the other end of the train. Yeah, in ten years, gonna be a crazy New York person. I know. I gotta get out of here. Um. So your roommate wakes up before you, gets a whole bunch of stuff done, like shower, getting ready, and you wake up at eleven, like pissed off. And you, yeah, what's your roommate doing? Working you, a job? Yeah. Yeah. And you feel this way, why? Guilt? Makes no, he's sense. always like, you know what? He's always cooking something, uh-huh. and I smell it, but I can't have any. So uh-huh. I wake up to like being alerted by this the smell. Start, stay angry. All right. Mm. All right, we're building a little profile What if you, you offered your roommate a little bit of cash, and he makes double every morning and leaves a little for you in the fridge? That'd be nice. Oh. What do you think of that? Slip him a couple bucks. Hey, give me some of them eggs. <laughs> are you cooking your own food when you wake up, or are you going to buy something? I'm going to buy something. See, there you go. No, I actually fast. You fast? Yeah. Oh, uh, oh you're so spiritual. Meditating, fasting. <laughs> At, oh, yeah. Wow, God, right. God, you missed the God part. The God part in there? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, how long does it take you to fall asleep? Uh, that's a curious. <laughs> Why is that funny? I don't know. It's a stupid question. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's inner turmoil. That's the first time. I'm Super <laughs> stupid question because it takes different people longer on different days. Like I, some days on I average. fall asleep immediately. Sometimes I wake up. I, it takes me hours. On average, I usually takes me quite a while. Does he write these? He writes. Them and are right you just before the show? Oh, and you're discovering them. Yeah, he never knows. Them. Oh, so you like scrolled my Instagram and you're like, he's divorced. I saw that on there. <laughs> okay. That's Damn. That's all I got. That's why, that's why these girls aren't he's, responding to me. <laughs> he's divorced. He must not sleep well at night. Yeah, yeah, he's probably up all night thinking about his divorce. Yeah. All the questions have come out of the, uh, the divorce. Yeah. I'll ask about that. Uh, it takes a bit. Yeah. yeah. Actually, it, it doesn't take long because I like edge myself to the point where I have to go to sleep. Ew. So you're on your phone and watching TV and stuff. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's weird for Jeff to say ooh because he's like Bill Maher but gross. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> yeah that was really out of character for you to that's say. That's my brand yeah. of comedy. Yeah. Bill uh, Maher but gross. Uh, that's new rule. The guest gets sucked. Yeah. New rule. <laughs> eat my butt. Yeah. <laughs> Bill Maher but gross. Eat my um, butt for Palestine. Yeah, that was pretty good, Bill Marba Gross. Yeah. Um, so, are you watching stuff on your phone? Or are you watching TV? What are you doing? Yeah, I'll watch some like people play video games before I go to bed. Oh, sure. Mm-hmm. You gotta watch that. What game are you watching them play? Uh, it's called Dead by Daylight. I don't know it. Oh, that's like a scary game. Yeah. You watch people play scary games? 
And then it, nod off to sleep? I'm desensitized, yeah. Oh, wow. no. And then you wake up pissed off, mm-hmm. smelling food getting cooked. Yeah, steak. Oh. He cooks steak a lot, too. Oh, it's my no. favorite food. Oh, it's your favorite. Yeah. Wow. If he puts butter on that, you're doomed. A compound butter? You're fucking doomed, my God. brother. Dip it in chili? Um, let's that would see. be good. Steak dipped in chili? Let's go. Ew, that would not be good. That would suck. I bet it would be pretty good, that Jeff. That would suck. There's ground Tomato-y beef in the steak. chili. There's ground beef in the chili, you fucking that piece of blows. shit. That blows. I think I'm wedging you guys apart from each other. We're well, always fighting. This, this is, happens every episode. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah, we fight every time. Um, well, Jeff's a fucking idiot, so man. that doesn't help. Yeah, you're like, you're not you're not the one way. Yeah, yeah, I'm an idiot. We hate each other naturally. Tim's a loser. So. I, well, I, I wouldn't be a loser if I had 90 grand. That's our sitcom. <laughs> I'm an idiot. He's a loser. <laughs> as, as soon as these mantras start working, I'm going to be a fucking winner. Yeah, right. All right, Ted. What was, uh, what was the biggest fight you had with your parents, and what was it about? Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Take me there. Both of them? Sure. Or maybe one. Biggest. Whichever one, whichever one comes to your mind. Oh, my! Uh, my mom took my Xbox. Oh, mommy, mother, how that's am I actually. To play Halo? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that like an English? <laughs> mother, that's, what, that's how children sound. <laughs> mother, <laughs> mother, my Halo game. <laughs> my Halo, mother. <laughs> I was gaming with the fellows, mother. Uh, mom took your Xbox. This is oh, okay. This is actually why I drank for the drank alcohol for the first time. Oh Whoa. no! It drove me yes, to drink. it drove me to drink. <laughs> yeah. oh, God, she's got irreparable damage true, to your organs. True, true story. I was in high school. She took my Xbox for no reason. Uh huh. I was just playing it. No reason. She just she just unplugged it. I was just playing it. Were you playing it too much? I don't know. Was she saying something to you and you didn't hear and ignored her? <laughs> no. Ted, I love no. You. <laughs> Ted, listen to me. Fuck you, you salty bitch. Yeah, fuck off. And she's like, what? I need like, a, I'm talking to the fellows. I need a beer. Yeah. <laughs> the voice changed so much. Yeah, I, I thought you were in high school. I thought you were a young child. Uh, oh, oh. In high school, you talk like this. Like Children she, are British. So yeah. She stole your Xbox. No reason. She took my Xbox. She hid it somewhere in the house. Hid it? She, yeah. Oh, that's what she would do. Oh. She would hide it. And I would, she would leave, and I would go scour the house to find my Xbox. She you hide your stuff? So she took yeah. your Xbox several times. Yeah, it was a recurring thing, and then really? finally I was... Are I had hiding spots every time? Yeah. I'm changing dad to mom. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Did yeah, I get a like, point? My parents, were, <laughs> like, my parents were perfect, and now your mom's just stealing your Xbox? Yeah, your mom's hiding reason? your stuff on you? Yeah. For no reason at all. Yeah, no reason. Just to mess with you. Just huh? get her on the horn. Well, that's what, why I drank. I was like... Okay, if you're just going to take my Xbox for no reason, I'm drinking. Uh, you never need a reason to drink. <laughs> yeah, so wait, how did you... So she took your Xbox, and then you were like, what? And you just went right into the fridge and cracked one of your dad's brewskis? No, uh, so yeah, there... M- M- uh, fuck. You lost it. Go Milwaukee, on, Ted. Milwaukee's best. <laughs> Ignore him, Ted. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see you do it. <laughs> it was... I went to my, so I was hanging out with like a new group of friends oh, who are still no. like my best friends. Bad boys. Yeah, and their mom didn't care about them drinking. Oh, no. And so we were in the garage and they were all drinking and they were like, you want a beer? And I was pretty like straight edge at the time, but I was like, she took my, I literally was like, she took my Xbox. And then we oh, cheers. Oh, no, she said it. Like to rebellion. And oh, like, I, yeah, wow. it's the first time I took my Xbox. To rebellion. Oh, <laughs> wow. You were like the colonists yeah. starting. Oh, I'm back to British. Going yeah. against the British. <laughs> I've gone full circle. This sounds like the like the origin story of an incel. Yeah. She took my Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, let's go kill a whore. Yes, fucking, I hate oh my God. Women. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Just them on 4chan. Yeah. Oh, gross. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna write down that quote. That's a good quote. She what she took, took my, my Xbox. She t- that's my high school. What was the quote. beer? What was the first beer? <clears throat> oh, it was. Um, yeah. Do you remember your first beer? I think it was a Natty Light. I was close. Yeah, was that Milwaukee's best? Yeah, you were close. That's in the ballpark of uh, Natty Light. Um, yeah, Natty Light is the uh, all right. I think mine was a Keystone. That was your first beer. And my first cigarette first, was first a first drink. Uh, um, uh, Lucky Strike. Oh, what do you what do you know? World War Two. That's right. I was hanging out with Al Capone. Yeah, my first alcoholic drink was Captain Morgan and vanilla Coke. That sounds delicious. I can still taste it today. Yeah. 
Because <laughs> you had it for before this. We used to drink Sailor Jerry's a lot because we thought it was fancy, but then it turns out it wasn't really. Uh, that's for four pe- poor people. What uh, okay, what year? Road. What year? Shut up. What year would you like to travel to, Ted? Two years. I want to know why. Nineteen sixty or eighteen sixty? Wow. Where what are you year going? do you want to go to? Oh. Um. Yeah. Two different times. Oh, they couldn't be more different. Yeah. So many. But they couldn't be more similar. As yeah. Well. So much <laughs> happening. So little. They both have sixty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <yes. laughs> yes. Um, I don't know. I don't even know what was happening in 1860. All right. So do you want to? So pick I'd probably pick that because 1960. I feel like I could. Yeah. So you're going to 1860. I'm going to 1860. Is okay. there indoor plumbing in the 1860s? No, I think that was outhouses still. I'm out on that. Give and me I the think... 1960s, brother. I want to. You don't flush. like an outhouse? No. Ah. Now let's see what was going on in 1860. I believe the Civil War. <laughs> you're gonna Google it? Yeah. <laughs> what was happening? Brother against brother. Yeah, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, Civil is that where you want to go, Ted? To fight in the Civil War? Oh, that sounds nice. Um, let's see here. Let's find out. 1860. What was happening in the 1860s? The decade was noted for featuring numerous major societal shifts. All right. Ooh. That's cool. So were the 1960s. Mm-hmm. The election of Abraham Lincoln's presidency in 1860. <laughs> That's a pretty uh, big United deal. States led to the succession. Yep, Confederate States. Oh, I see why he wants to go. Yeah. All right. Music was uh, was happening. fight for the Confederacy. Yeah. Gambling prevailed. All That's right. good. I'm now. I'm back in. All right. Gambling prevailed. Mm-hmm. I I'm so bored by history, if I'm being honest. Well, that's care. you're living in the 19 in the 1860s, Ted. <laughs> but then that's not history; it's the present. More Americans were living in cities than farms, as well. Oh, wow! So you'd be living in a big city. Um, I see. Didn't know what was happening. <laughs> That's why. Oh, you take notes on every... Yeah, yeah, then we talk about the notes. Wow, we... your handwriting is so bad. Uh, put, a, put a sad face. Yeah, yeah, sad face. No no history knowledge. Uh, let's see here. What's it's the, like the uh, anti-asthmas. What was the, uh, what was the first big thing that you did after your divorce? Oh, yeah. First big thing. Did you cheers to rebellion? Yeah, yeah. Did you meet up with your friends? <laughs> she took my Xbox in the divorce. She took half the Xbox. <laughs> that's pretty funny. No, that's when I try like heroin for the first time. Oh no! <laughs> she divorced Damn. me. Um, first big thing. Mm. What'd you do? A big trip? Uh, yeah, you, you buy yourself. A- oh, I had a little romance with a a, a girl after it. Yeah. A romance. Yeah. What? Yeah. Tell me about this romance. Uh, was it hot and heavy? Yeah. Was yeah. It full of steam and passion. It was. Yeah. It's pretty great. Yeah. Yeah, she's great. Was she of age? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta know. The fans want to know. We'll answer the man. Yeah. Otherwise, we're gonna have to assume. <laughs> I'm not, yeah. how are you, I'm not even I, gonna I, give how that. How the man not answered the question? Not even gonna give that attention. <laughs> Okay, Jeff, right child. <laughs> uh, steamy romance right after. Yeah. What happened? It fizzled out. It was too hot, too heavy, burned like a star. You weren't ready internally for an actual love in your life? Yeah. <laughs> My God. <laughs> the spectrum that he can cross. <laughs> Was she of age? <laughs> On an existential level. <laughs> um, I don't know. Yeah? Yeah. Uh... Let's hear a little bit about her. Oh, she's beautiful, creative type. Oh, okay. All yeah. Right. Right. I met her on Bumble. Oh, there wow. we go. Now we're talking. So she had to reach out. No, uh, yeah, I guess technically Bumble. she did. She said, yeah. hey, hey, handsome, when you're like steamy romance for what, a few months, a few weeks? Yeah, it was like a couple months. A couple months. Oh, I love that. All right. Good stuff. Couple I months. hope she watches this, yeah. Does she, are you, does she still in? We are, we're in contact a little oh, bit. Oh, really? Every once in a while. Oh. Yeah. She, she doesn't live here anymore, though. Yeah. Do you want her back? <laughs> <laughs> we were never really official, so. <laughs> okay. Sounds like a yes. Creative types are drawn to this podcast, though. She could be watching. She might be a listener. Oh. Um, what made you want to get married in the first place? Ooh. Oh, that's a deep one. You want me to be honest? Mm-hmm, I want honest. Uh, I think it was... 
I was long distance, so she was living in Florida, and I was in New York City, and so she was going to have to move here out of college. Oh, okay. So I was, I felt bad about, you know what I mean, like having her move without being married. Oh, okay. Yeah. So kind of guilt, a guilt marriage. <laughs> That's a great of any, the great part of any love story is the guilt. <laughs> <laughs> you felt bad about her moving to the greatest city in the world. Yeah. New York, you have to get married to move here, <laughs> or Ted will leave you, but then you do. Is that the song you heard? I think that's the song. No, those are the actual lyrics. Uh, all right, so uh, the marriage was, the foundation was guilt. I mean, I'm giving you guys some really good, no one's ever gotten this out of me before. Yeah, this, this, is, this is great. This I'm is being great. honest. This, this is what we want. This is good for your score. Yeah, this is good for your score <laughs> and your healing. We want you to heal. I'm not healed completely. So I let's, can let's, tell. Yeah, that's riddled rough. with guilt. <laughs> Wouldn't even laugh at me being sad. My yeah, mantras. we'll laugh at Tim's sad life. <laughs> you know. Give me to laugh retroactively. Yeah, yeah. And then moments later, Tim calls you a child molester. <laughs> I didn't call him that. I asked if she was of age. And That's he would true. not answer the That's question. True, you did ask. Uh, wait, you're you guys. Oh, he rolled his pants up. I'm hot as shit. Show some leg, Tim. I'm sweating. He got jealous because of all the attention your thighs were getting. He wanted some leg on leg, yeah. flesh on flesh. I wanted yeah. to squeak him around. Uh, when did that happen? I didn't even notice. I've been doing it slowly. As the <laughs> yeah, it's getting higher and higher. Yeah. A little. Yeah. My balls are gonna be out of here soon. I can't wait. <laughs> um, let's see here. What How long are they? Very. <laughs> What uh, what clique in high school were you a part of? The, the okay. premature drinkers. The premature drinkers. Yeah. Oh, like the alcoholic losers. That was the crew I was kind of in. Yeah. I was in two crews. Oh yeah. Skateboard guys, but I couldn't skateboard. Yeah, too and fat. Drinking guys. No, I had a six pack. In <laughs> you should see him on the stairs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had a six pack in high school, Jeff. Yeah, right. I did. A I'll beer. get a photo. You had a six pack. I had a six pack. No. I was a wrestler. Really? I want to see the photo. I'll find it. Oh, right, yeah. Show me this photo. <laughs> could the... I drink butter off this six-pack? It's in the photo of the you 1860s. You drink butter off the six-pack. You could, I mean, I wasn't of age, but you could drink the butter, I'd assume. All right, all right. What were you saying? I, I, you pull up the thing of the 1860s and his photo of an eight, a six-pack is in there. Oh, yeah. Tim's a time traveler. We realize he's a time traveler. That's right. Wouldn't that be wild? Me holding keys, a six pack of keystones. Yeah, could you imagine if like like the time traveling power was given to an absolute loser? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> guy knows what happens, still fails. <laughs> he keeps fucking failing. <laughs> he had a six pack and couldn't find ninety thousand dollars. <laughs> You're like this guy. Has How'd you fuck that up? <laughs> this guy has to be a complete mush. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these. Things. He's been around since Egyptian times, <laughs> and he still can't. He get doesn't know how to use together. it. <laughs> I lived in a 300 square foot apartment. Has for 215 years. <laughs> Keeps fucking up. He learned his language by eating papyrus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So wait, what part of you were in the uh, premature drinkers? Oh, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. They drank. I don't. They, they weren't really a click. The real answer is, I feel like I was like the click of the clickless. Oh, like on the outcasts. Not the outcasts. It wasn't like we were dejected. It just we we weren't like jocks or like partiers. This sounds outcasty to me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're you're describing losers. Yeah, I think you're outcast. To fit in is to be a loser, or to not fit in is to be a loser. Uh, oh, in high school, I, absolutely. Yeah, have we not yeah. seen Mean Girls? Yeah, any high school experience. Well, this is actually interesting because we. Jeff was the coolest guy. He we was a senior dated a freshman. Yeah, dude, that was cool as hell. <laughs> That's oh. where the question earlier came <laughs> yeah. from. I was dating a freshman, dog. <laughs> really? <laughs> As a senior in high school. Were you eighteen? Oh no, I was seventeen. Uh, and she was, <laughs> you know what was even cooler about it? She was busted. <laughs> No, no, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> it took a weird turn. <laughs> so right. she was 14? Uh, <laughs> the tough questions for, have been... For re- quite a second. Yeah, there, was, there was a for brief... For a little bit of time. Now for, she's older. Brief moment of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And hit 15. Uh, all right. Outcast. <laughs> so, you were, so you guys, you were the click of the click list? Okay. So uh, I mean, we just had our high We just had our 10 year high school reunion. Oh, okay. And we re- I feel like I realized. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. I saw Tim doing the math. Yeah. 28. Years 2014. Old? I was just figuring out what year it was. Oh, okay. 
2013. Yeah, yeah. And so one of my best friends is a he's a professional poker player. Uh huh. Who's what's his name? I'm not gonna say his name. <laughs> Phil Helmuth. Is it Phil Helmuth? <laughs> you think Phil Helmuth is twenty? You think he's twenty eight years is old? It ben Wasserman. You got to use the twenty eight years old as relevant. It's Phil Helmuth. Okay. <laughs> he's like fifty. That's in my head. He's is it Ryan about? DePaulo? Yeah. Uh, so he's a pretty famous poker player. All right. I'm not gonna say his name. Phil Helmuth. Dude. But uh, and then my other friend is like a travel social media influencer with a. Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> you don't like them. Ugh. A traveling social media influencer. Is it Jeremy Becker? Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? Professional poker player. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can keep going, Landon. Yeah, Landon. you're still on the other one. Um, right, and then on. my other friend does like uh, MMA stuff, and then oh, I do wow. comedy. Chuck Liddell. <laughs> yeah, the Chuck Liddell. Chuck Liddell. Uh, then I do comedy, so we're realizing it's like, oh, we were that we were all weird, but oh. because we didn't fit in. It's like divergent, you know? I'm just going to write down outcast. Yeah. <laughs> All right, outcast. I mean, he did a lot of talking to make us not think they were because they're doing well now. Yeah, yeah. This sounds like primo high school outcast. Which, nothing wrong with that, you know? Hey, I was friends with the outcast. Listen, I get it. You're in high school. You're professional poker player friends talking about EV, like minus EV and game theory optimal. No one really wants Whoa, to talk to Oh, Tim. Oh. I this know. might be where the 90,000 comes from. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got some t- poker knowledge. Yeah, I probably, if your friend is an actual famous poker player, I, I bet I know who he is. Tim loves to gamble. I watch a bunch of poker vlogs. Oh, yeah? Oh, really? Tell Tim after the pod. Is recording. it Rampage? I'll tell you after the pod. All right. Uh, let's see. What ancient site would you want to visit before you die? A landmark of sorts. <laughs> Pick one. Great Wall. Oh, Revenge. great, great wall. No, Great Wall is actually. I I did a deep dive into the Great Wall one time. Yeah. Oh yeah, a history yeah. lesson for the guy who hates history. Yeah, I thought you hated history. Or do you just hate the Mongolians? I don't know. I guess the Great Wall uh, was interesting to me. Oh, loves a wall. Mm-hmm. Probably didn't let his wife in. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the Great Wall is just in my heart. Yeah, yeah. you can see it. about the Great Wall, Trump's building. <laughs> yeah, you can see it from space. Um, let's see here. Let's, let's let's do this one fun one. I'll skip this one. We'll come back to it. We're at fifty one minutes. Oh, how long right. does how long does it go? Oh no, we're gonna be wrapping up. I only got like four left. What uh, what Spice Girl would you want to be? I don't know the Spice Girls. You got to pick one. Ice Ice Spice. Is that, is that one of them? No. Nope. Oh no, that's that's current day stuff. There's scary spice, scary. sporty spice, sporty posh spice. spice, baby spice, and uh, the other one. Who's the, who's the other one? Ginger. Whoever the red ginger spice. One. Ginger spice. Was it just ginger spice? Maybe. I, think I have I, just, I have no knowledge. I right, pick spice. one of those. I'm gonna have to pick one for you if you don't pick. Thank, yeah. Okay, go ahead, baby. Oh, you got baby spice. Everybody likes uh, the best. What? No way. Sporty spice. Sporty spice was a lesbian. Jeopardy. That's why she was so attractive. Because <laughs> he couldn't have her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I want what I cannot obtain. Uh, baby. How are they gonna make the only black spice girl scary spice? Uh, all right, '90s humor boys. <laughs> What? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't do that anymore because it's been done a bunch. <laughs> All right. Didn't even know any. I love being trapped in between a conversation. I can't take a part. <laughs> That's we right. could do another 15 you're like, on the spice girl. Like we have four minutes left. Let's. Mm-hmm. Hot spice is Victoria Beckham. Yeah, she's married to David Beckham. Really? Mm-hmm. She says he's got ah. a fat hog. You want to be her? Yeah, you could be a posh spice. You could be posh spice getting railed out by his fat hog. Yeah, be banged by David Beckham. You ever think about that? Huh? He'll bend it. Like <laughs> you can name your kid Brooklyn. <laughs> Is there a kid named Brooklyn? Yeah. Brooklyn Beckham? Brooklyn Beckham. That's kind of cute. BB. The other one's name is Staten Island. Uh, <laughs> shut up. How many minutes do we have left? We got 40 more minutes, Ted. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. What, uh, can you give me, give me your family members, uh, ranked. What do you mean? Best or worst. Best family. Who do you like best? <laughs> who do you like the least? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Best, best or worst. Give me your family members. No. What? <laughs> My, I can do mine. Mom, dad, brother. Nice. All right. My mom's very nice. Yeah. Dad. Mom and dad are basically tied, but. 
You got to give it to your mom, of course. Yeah. Brother way down there. I'll go mom, sister, dad. He, wow. he listens. He's going to hate that. Oh, wow. But he'll understand. <laughs> Them, them's the rules. Mm-hmm. Uh, My brother, I mean, if he even could claw the list, it'd be incredible. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I have three siblings, so it's harder to answer. Hey, let's hear it. Rank them. All right. Currently? Because mm-hmm. it, it's a dynamic. All right, oh. we'll go s- sister, mom, Whoa. brother, brother, dad. Whoa. Wow. Sister number one. <laughs> Close relationship there, mom. She sends me great. She sends me great uh, videos on Instagram. Oh, and mom sends you garbage videos on yeah. Instagram. She doesn't send me any videos on your Instagram. Your mom's like, Ted, check this out. You're like, this is boomer humor, bitch. <laughs> mom, I don't need. I don't care about who's running the country. <laughs> Fuck you, mom. <laughs> and then your brothers are just like, shut up, dweeb. And your dad's yeah. like, who are you again? Yeah. Oh no, that's your family dynamic just broken down. Wow. Right. Yeah. Right. Two more questions, Ted. All right. Then we're out of here, and then you can go back to living your wonderful life. Yeah. Thank you. All right, Ted. Who are you in 10 words or less? (laughs) (laughs) What a dumb question. (laughs) I'm going to count the words, though. Do I have to answer that? Yeah. Yeah. Who are you in 10 words or less? I am count his words. Yeah, all right. There you go. So don't use those. Uh, I mean, you can if you want you know? I don't... Uh, <laughs> what are you... <laughs> Here, I'll Ted. start doing me. Intelligent, winner, $90,000, cool, smart, uh, <laughs> not fun. E- not even you had sentence. these ready. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going to be a sentence. Words. You describe yourself I mean, words. I assumed it'd be sentence, but I guess it doesn't have to be. This is your book quote. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, fun. Okay. Oh. Guy. Uh huh. <laughs> shower. That felt like a lie. That felt like a <laughs> lie. That felt like a lie. I like hanging out there. Yeah, right. You're overcompensating. <laughs> you don't shower ever. Yeah. In shape, hyphenated. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah, right. A shape. That's right. All right. The shape of a cool guy. Yeah. Okay. All right, right. Ted. Who are you? Ten words or less. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Ted Barton. <laughs> Ted Barton. I am curious. That's I it. That's curious. the whole thing. I, I am... need. You can put bye in there and get four words. Yeah. No, I'm three words. That's uh, it. I am curious. I'm curious. I haven't asked Jeff and I a single question. <laughs> no, I did, actually. <laughs> <laughs> can uh, I? Yeah. I would love to. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> if you want to get Tell to me know about Ted. your dad. You, I'll tell you about my dad. Awesome, sick guy. Yeah, Tim loves his dad. He didn't rank that high, though. I said he was tied with my mom, but you got to give your mom number one. Mom does. Moms always deserve number one. It's weird that you put yours second. But But what am I to say, you know? I am curious. If you want to get to know Ted... That's what you need to know. Yeah. I'm curious. Right oh, yeah. You walk up there. Hey, Ted, would you like to know about me? Change, Bingo. They're in. Yeah. Change your damn name to George. <laughs> curious George. <laughs> Shut <laughs> You are an idiot. Oh, I'm not allowed to be hilarious. You are a <laughs> dumb idiot. Oh, man. I'm going to take in shape off my, and I'm going to put <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> I've never seen somebody transform into jean shorts <laughs> <laughs> during the course of a conversation. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, there's a first for everything. All right. Final question, Ted. This one, Let's do it. This one we ask everyone. This one is everyone we always got to know. All right. Everyone's dying. I'm ready. First thing I think of. Let's go. What stand-ups got you into comedy? Who were you? Louis C.K. Oh, Louis. Yep. Louis. All right. Are you curious as to what he did? All right. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Why would you do such a thing? <laughs> All right. Louis C.K. That's pretty solid. All right. That's it there. So we got Louis C.K. You gave me three out of ten words. That's not too bad, but you get to give me some words. Didn't know the spice. That's going to hurt you. You ranked your family. <laughs> Didn't think you would. Glad you did. Uh, let's see. Bit of an outcast. Nothing wrong there. I love that. Let's see. Romance off Bumble. Got real steamy. Mm. Real hot. 
Oh, have Ted sign the book real quick, Jeff. Oh, yeah, Ted. No, I'm not signing that. Oh, come on, Ted. <laughs> I love putting my signature it. on there. What? Why Robbie do I have to... Solvig signed it, and he uh, works with John Stewart. Yeah, Robbie signed over here. Um, let's see here. Watch his twitch till he falls asleep. Ted, I'm going to give you a solid 8.3. Wow. How does that rank with other people? That's pretty, That's good. pretty good. Robbie That's was pretty... just on. He, he got an 8. He was pretty And Robbie honest. did a good job, too. Yeah, Robbie did a good job. All right, I'll sign it. Oh, he's you signing got me. it. That's a good score. There you go. And I think Ted was so uncomfortable, too. Yeah, that helps. Uh, That's the sign you did a good job. We need, job. like, the first, like, we Extremely need the guests to feel like Wilfred the first time he was on. Wilfred hated it. Mm-hmm. Oh, he hated being on here. Yeah, I hated it in the beginning, and then when I let go of that, I... <laughs> <laughs> I just accepted it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some That's people the don't let go. Yeah. Who didn't let go? I think Karen didn't let go. I think Karen hated it the whole time. Oh, yeah. Well, Karen's Irish. She hates being asked anything about her life. Yeah, yeah. Let's Dan see. Yang wouldn't give us anything. Dan Yang was tight as a drum. Uh, Renan was open as a book. Oh, yeah. Carmen was great. All right, Ted. Renan was as open as porn on his computer. Yeah, Renan is a dirt bag. <laughs> Found that out. <laughs> Ted, you get to do your plugs? Where can people find you? Uh, follow me on Instagram at Ted Barton Comedy. Uh, Twitter, same thing. All right. TikTok, Ted Talks. Oh, is that your TikTok? Is I'm Ted pretty, Talks? Yeah, but it's T-O-K-S. Oh. Yeah. That's good, that's good. Thank you. I was going to say you get a lot of accidental follows, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ted X. Yeah. yeah. I was right. like, this is just one guy's talks. Right. This is good. All right, Tim. Well, of course, you can check out the Patreon at patreon.com slash tough questions. You can listen to the Great Hang podcast with myself and Micah Fox. And if you are in the D.C. area this Friday, I will be opening up for Patreon subscriber Tom Takar. Oh. So come see Tom and I at the DC Improv uh, the 28th of June. Big hit. I'm always at New York, Jeffrey. Goodbye. Bye.